Nintendo is at it again. The mad lads are out there doing the unexpected, dropping what appears to be a brand new IP video game announcement. And look, it is very out there. It is very unlike Nintendo, not to launch a new IP, but to announce it the way that they're doing it, the type of game it is. Oh boy, we got to dive into this because there's a lot of theories going on around Nintendo's announcement today. And I feel like we have a pretty solid way to debunk a bunch of it, but we got to dive into what exactly is going on. But without further ado, let's take a look here. Uh, who is Emio? Emio. We don't really exactly know how to pronounce it, but it's just a hashtag with a still screenshot posted by Nintendo of America. And as you see at the bottom, Paul Gale Network, they're saying, well, this is interesting because it is interesting, but you know what? There's more to this interesting story than that uh, because they also gave us a trailer. So we're going to go ahead and hop over here and check out this trailer. Just give it a watch here. That's it. That's all there is. There's nothing else. Uh, yeah, there's even more. There's an official website uh, for the game as well. We can take a look here. And it just has that end of the trailer. It'll flash back and forth once in a while between two different masks on uh, the character we presume is Emio. We don't know. Uh, from what we've been able to decipher from the text, it either means smiling man or laughing man or both, whatever. It depends on how you want to translate the text. But either way, uh, that's all the details we have outside of the fact that it is rated M. Now, the big thing here, though, is people always want to know, like, who's making this game? This clearly appears to be an M-rated adult horror game. And it's really important we note a few things, like the fact that Nintendo announced it and th this never leaked or was teased by anybody else. Oh, and by the way, that there's an official Nintendo website for it means that Nintendo is publishing the game. They only put up official websites for games they are publishing. So like Endless Ocean Luminous, they publish that. Nintendo has an official website. So we don't know if Nintendo's making this game internally. They've never made an M-rated game internally at Nintendo, but uh, they clearly have this game being made by someone. And the popular uh, thought process out there is that it is Bloober. Now, uh, who the heck is Bloober? Well, they've made games like The Medium, uh, Silent Hill 2 Remake, stuff like that. None of their games have really popped off, though. So when this story got out there, people were really not liking that this might be the people. But we have some like stuff that sort of hints that this might be. Uh, Jaw Muncher out here says another interesting interview that might imply that M.E.O. slash Smiley Man is a bloober title, though we can't afford to make just a decent game. Um, sounds like a company working with Nintendo and wanting to aim for a quality bar. So uh, this comes from an interview with the CEO of Bluebird. It says, in addition, we are working on it in cooperation with the world's best game creators for Nintendo platforms. Notice it says for, not with. Uh, so we cannot afford to create just a decent game, which I guess is probably what they would describe uh, all their other games out there. And there's been stuff like this, like uh, supposedly... Uh, Bloober was working on a Nintendo exclusive title, and there's a chance it could be Emiosa Smiley Man. The last update on it was that draw distance was taken off the project. However, uh, so look, that's all fine, but the thing is, a lot of people don't want it to be Bloober Team. Bloober Team, you know, as I noted earlier, did like Silent Hill 2 Remake and uh, what is it, the Medium, but there's a whole bunch of stuff they've been involved in. If we actually take a look at their official website here, we got Silent Hill 2, uh, the Layers of Fear, the Medium. Deserver, System Redux, Blair Witch Project, Layers of Fear 2, and the original Layers of Fear. Uh, Layers of Fear is really what they became known for. It ended up being their highest rated game. Layers of Fear 2, though, did not rate that well, and nor did all these other games. And just because they became known for this one, well, hey, they've been around for like 15 years, and all the rest of these games didn't really pan out for them, at least from a critical perspective. So, here's the thing. There's a lot of worry that Bloober Team might be the one behind this, making this just a mediocre uh, M-rated game for Nintendo. And look, we obviously expect better from Nintendo published games, although the Nintendo does release plenty of mediocre games. But the way they're teasing this, they didn't give us like a full-blown trailer. We have no idea when this is coming out. We know it's coming to Switch because of the Switch logo. Maybe this is the August game, because again, Nintendo doesn't have an official published game coming out in August. But we have a few things suggesting 
that, you know what, it's actually not Bloober Team. In fact, one supposed insider is just outright saying it. So let's go ahead and look at that as well, because I think that when we're exploring the conversations around this mystery game, we really need to dive deep. So first we have uh, this Luigi Blood guy. I believe he's the same user over at Family Boards. Um, go into this Wario 64 post. In fact, let's go to the Wario 64 post first. It says whether this is related or not to Bloober Team uh, appears to be making a title for Nintendo platforms. This comes from Jaw Muncher that we talked about earlier. Uh, so that's all cool. But then if you go look at Luigi Blood here, it says if you read the source beyond a few paragraphs, you would get the following. The first announcement of Project M will appear later this year and will be uh, a, a title opening our second party portfolio under the Broken Mirror Games brand. Now, what's interesting, there's two words that are to pay attention to the second party portfolio. Uh, second party would be making a game for a first party company. But then under the Broken Mirrors game brand, if you actually do digging into Broken Mirrors, they are a game publishing studio. So that doesn't really sound like Nintendo, right? Does that sound like Nintendo to you? But if you go back to the Wario 64 post, you can also scroll down here and see Necro Felipe Lima over here uh, from Nintendo Universal says doubt. And if you go over and look at, uh, I believe it is Reset Era, uh, he also says that no, Bloober is not the team behind this game. Whether or not he has any direct knowledge or not, I don't know. Uh, we're still waiting on some of the stuff that he has said in the past to, to pan out. But there's at least reason to doubt that it's Bloober team. Also, uh, everything Bloober team has ever worked on has leaked. I don't know if you guys are aware of this. Not a single one of their projects ever made it to announcement without leaking. Uh, so they're definitely a leak heavy company. So it's highly doubtful that this probably came from them, given that it didn't leak at all. Uh, probably made by someone in Japan. You know, I, there's been People throwing around just kind of the hopium that it's Hideo Kojima because uh, Hideo Kojima was recently spotted wearing a Nintendo New York hat in a photo, but uh, that's probably not the case. I mean, it could be. Obviously, he's working on... He, he made obviously Death Stranding. Uh, he's, he's been involved with Silent Hill and all these other games in the past, uh, but, you know, he's also working on a game for Xbox, so, hey, maybe he's got a Nintendo project in the works and this is it. Eh, probably not, though. In the end, I think what's most fascinating about MEO, EMEO, however we pronounce it, is we just don't know. Like, that's that's the biggest thing, is, like, we just don't know. Uh, as I sit here and stare at this official website, it's crazy to me that Nintendo is teasing a game in this way in 2024. This is very un-Nintendo-like. Uh, they could have put this in the Nintendo Direct, and they didn't. We don't know if this is going to end up being some big AAA uh, level game, if it's going to be more indie-like. Uh, we don't know. The fact that Nintendo is being very mysterious with this game, though, and the way that they're teasing it could also fit the kind of game it is. It's a horror game, and Nintendo hasn't had anything really freaky or horroristic like this since, like, maybe Eternal Darkness. Uh, and so people are like, oh, is this going to be a new Eternal Darkness game or a new Fatal Frame kind of game? Or is this going to be an even bigger deal than those games? Is Nintendo going to put a heavy marketing campaign behind this? Is this game going to end up reviewing crazy well and come out of left field and shock us all? Maybe. And I think that's the exciting part here is we don't know what this damn thing is. That's what builds the excitement. Nintendo, in my opinion, knows exactly what they're doing here. Because again, we don't know what this game is. It's a horror game, presumably. It's rated M for mature, 18 plus other places. What more do you want, man? Like, this is this is Nintendo at their finest hour, potentially teasing a brand new IP, and uh, we're just going to sit back and see what happens. You guys can give me your guesses down in the comments below. This is going to take the internet by storm all day. We'll probably have to talk about this on our podcast tonight as well because Nintendo doesn't do this, uh, and that's what makes it very interesting. But then the type of game it is might lead Nintendo to market in this way. When is it coming out? What the hell is it? Are we going to find out more details later today, tomorrow? Or are they just going to go silent on this for months? And we're just like, what the hell was that? I don't know. Welcome to the speculation that is around Nintendo's supposed brand new IP announcement. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video.